all right everybody and what is up welcome back to the channel today we are at the reef toberfest here in the daytona beach ocean center we're going to go ahead and take a look at the show uh see what's going on it's the first show they're ever having so hopefully it's a great turnout i heard there's a lot of people inside so we're going to go ahead and go inside take a look at it see what's going on and you know hope you guys enjoy it um got got me my shirts here so we're rocking with the new shirts now so go ahead and hit that like button down below go ahead and leave a comment on this tell me what you guys think about the show um obviously i'm going to go ahead and visit some of the booths here and see what's good and we will check you out inside peace guys so reeftoberfest was a good show here um the doors open at 11 we had vip come in at 10 uh, i think they closed doors at about five or six o'clock uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take a walk around the show floor here see a couple of the vendors a couple of the folks you may know and probably some new faces here so we'll see what's happening and uh take a quick uh walk around So being that this is the first show here in Daytona Beach, uh, we you know expected a good turnout of folks to come through and uh, see what was going on. Uh, looks like there was also a lot of restrictions due to COVID, so a lot of the uh, vendors had to do their spacing. Um, there was probably also some limitations to how many people could uh, be in at one point in time. So although it looks like there's not a lot of people, I will tell you that during my time there, uh, there was a lot of folks in and out uh, throughout the whole day. So like I said, everybody looks like they had a great time. I didn't see any, uh, any upset folks and everything looks like it all went well. So with that little tour over with here, we're going to go ahead and visit the raffle booth. Uh, so the raffles here, we have all of the vendor raffles like normal. Uh, sorry for it being a bit dark here, I didn't uh, bump up the exposure on this uh, quite soon enough. But as you can see here, we got a lot of the vendors. Uh, looks like we have some rock work from uh, Pristine Rocks. And we have a few uh, products here on the table, which I'll let you guys take a look at. So I've actually been by this booth before. It was uh, Lewis Reef, and as you can see, he actually has all of these uh, 3D printed skulls. And what he actually brought to the show was this really large piece here. Uh, I didn't put it up for for a size comparison, but I think it was it's actually uh, right for about a human skull there. So uh, if you guys want any uh, uh, 3D printed skulls, you can actually check them out at the shows and see what he has. Um, he also has a nice set of uh, frags here that uh, you can take your pick out of there. All right. 
right, so another booth I was at was Blue Water Reef. Uh, they are a local store uh, here in, uh, in Volusia County. And they obviously have a good selection of corals, um, anywhere from your LPS to your SPS and a lot of little A cans. Uh, just a good selection of stuff to choose from. Here goes uh, Reef Aquaculture Specialist booth, um, and I've seen their booth before at a, at a previous show, and I will say that again, they brought a lot of fire coral to this show here. Uh, as you can see, we have an acanthophilia and a lot of uh, nice pieces. Um, so we had subculture betas out with their betas, uh, as you can see, very nice uh, beta selection if you guys are into that. So the folks over at the fish tank brought out a good selection of products from their Radions, uh, looks like some Kessels, some uh, uh, Neptune products, some fish tanks, and some frag racks. Uh, so here we are over at the uh, Trash Panda Aquaculture booth, and we actually see they have a pink and blue hammer coral. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get a frag, but it looks like that whole colony was up for sale. Um, if you want to check out some more pieces that they have here, we've got a couple of shots of um, what they did uh, bring to the show with them. So we're checking out Riptide Aquaculture's booth. Uh, looks like they brought out a nice selection of frags for you guys to choose from. Uh, we've got two tables actually set up by them, so that's twice the amount of frags that you guys can choose from. Here we got some nice pieces over here, some of the LPS corals and such. So we're just going to go ahead and take a quick look at Chaos Aquaculture. As you can see, he's got some folks in the booth. So, unfortunately, I want to interrupt what he's got going on in his business, but you know what? It's going to get ready to show you guys some of the corals uh, from around the lot of the different vendors that I wasn't able to uh, film at that time. So, just sit back and relax, and the rest of this video is pretty much just going to be all coral shots. So, enjoy.
everybody so that was the show hope everybody enjoyed themselves uh, i want to give a thanks to trash panda aquaculture for hosting this event uh, i want to also thank all the vendors and everybody that showed up to the show i will check you guys on the next one peace <laughs>